I saw a tire to follow the chaos in this town. I believe it is time in this town of Salem that we end the horse which is the dead for a time. I agree, Betty. But how will we put an end to such witch controversy? Well, thou shalt put the blame on Miss Abigail Williams, who we put forth as the conductor of our practices. The situation will make it seem as though she made us follow her beliefs of witchcraft. It makes perfect sense and we surely cannot be at fault for our actions if we were persuaded by a womanly figure such as Miss Abigail. I second that idea. I as well. I've heard the words of these girls. Now I know what they are up to. Why do you come? Come, sit. <laughs> it is of great importance that I talk to you, Abigail, for I have news that you must act on quickly. I do tell. <laughs> Abigail, for thy sake of my dearly beloved Proctor and yourself, for everyone has made one too many faults in their lives, you need to turn in the young girls to our community and tell of the witchcraft hysteria. If you do not, as I say, you will face the consequences as fear not, but a single hour ago I heard them plan the betrayal of yourself in court, not but tomorrow. Aye, it ails me so. Oh, Elizabeth, you shall not judge me from the words of little girls, but to save myself I will have to do as you say. Those girls want to betray me and I will betray them. It is the only way to save myself. Aye, it is. And from public humiliation and hanging, uh, I shall but protect myself and no other choice. I, I have no other choice. I. <laughs> it is. It surely is your only choice but to end this chaos now. Tomorrow, I shall but go into the court and testify against the wrongdoings of these young girls. Thank you for your news, Miss Proctor. I deeply appreciate it. All right. We are here today to discuss the ongoing hysteria of witchcraft in Salem, Massachusetts. First up, Abigail Williams. No, sir. I was merely blamed for it by the other girls. Who are you? So, I hear about you dancing in the woods. Your name is all. It was Mary Warren, sir. She said she was cold or hot. She took off her clothes. I do not know why. You were there dancing in the forest, which you know is forbidden. No, they they dragged me in the forest. They used their witchcraft spells to make me go in the forest after them. So you're saying all those girls are witches? They're all witches. They're possessing me right. <gasps> Don't get me, Rebecca! Don't get me! lied about a baby can surely not be held truthful in this court. Aye, it is no wonder that among us believes a word we are told. Everything is lies. Do as you wish, Your Honor. <sighs> well, from what I have seen is 
The truth has spoken, and not one person in this town of Salem is trustworthy. I of the truth. I have no other choice but to put further forth consequences on those who have wronged. Abigail Williams, it is evident from this day forth what sins ail you have made, you wretched person. It is evident that I have no choice but to sentence your hanging at one o'clock tomorrow. Um, as for Proctor, he has done nothing but spoken the truth, and for that, I cannot wrong him. So, his punishment be not a scarlet letter to be worn on his chest as a symbol of his sin. <laughs> Mr. Proctor? <laughs> How's jail? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, Proctor, it is within my deepest apologies that I did not believe your words to the courtroom, and I am truly sorry. Um, after the hearing yesterday in which your Abigail born your baby, I have no choice but to release you, for you have committed only a small sin, which can be punished by the wearing of this scarlet letter and caring for the baby which they which they hanged Abigail born with the Excellency, you surely have not let this lie be spread in court no longer, and I thank you for that. I will do as I am told and bear this child of mine with my endearing wife Elizabeth, who has stood by thee in these times of hysteria. God forbid she shut me out, I will see you at the hanging. Yes, she is a good woman, indeed. I pray that for the good of you and your new family, the removal of Abigail Williams will shut out the girls whom are frauds in Salem and put an end to this witchcraft hysteria. I second thee, Your Excellency. I second thee. See you at the hanging. Goodbye, sweetie. Elizabeth, this child we have born is too much of a burden. Aye, aye, it is so. This soul shall be placed in the home of someone who truly loves it and can care for it. That we have in these past couple weeks. I have sinned, not but today, in that I shall abandon this child for the sake of him for having a better life. We have sinned, not, my dear. We do only what we have to do. Let us go. This looks like a good house. Bye. Farewell, thy child. For you have not sinned. Survived all the hysteria. I shall be the boy who lived. <laughs>